Gee, obviously uh, floor. <coughs> we know about that from last one. Uh, what we've got here though is a good shot of the, uh, the diff. It's actually in now. The axle. Oh. The axle's in. As you can see, it's fastened. But um, the actual boxes. Just going on the other side. The actual boxes that are around the fastenings were filled with rubber and so I'm going to have to do something about that because that one slid, slid backwards mm. and you can see that, oh you might be able to see, I don't know, let's move this out of the way <coughs> and, yes, <laughs> it's a bit, uh, yeah, a bit offset, it slid backwards basically and it's, there's a box, a metal box Oh, I don't believe it. I cut the floor out. Still can't see it. So where the U-bolt is, which is uh, yeah, next to the wheel. Okay, in the middle of the picture. Right, uh, there's a box around the spring, and that's filled with rubber. I put rubber sections in there, which is the bit that obviously stops it from sliding around. So I'm going to have to put all that back in, but that's fine because I needed to take the axle off anyway because it's not. It's pointing up at an angle. If you look at it, <coughs> it's still tilted towards the front of the van. So, uh, you see it from oh, the lights in the way. Uh, it's tilted towards the there. You go. That's a good picture, isn't it? You see, it's still tilted towards it. About you know, I don't know, about twenty degrees. So I need to bury it so it's perpendicular upright, and then obviously I need to get that sorted out. But it was just to get the wheels on it, just to sort of roll it round on it and see. And uh, you can't, no you can't, I don't think, can I turn it? Oh, I put the handbrake on, didn't I? <laughs> yes, handbrake's still attached. Watch this, you'll like this. Yay! <laughs> Why is it still attached? So, uh, we can, uh, oh, just nudge it a bit and it should turn. Uh, maybe not. It's, uh, because that tyre is held against it, you can see that the back axle, it, it turns, I mean, I don't know what the ratio is, but you're probably talking about, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 15 to 1, I would say, I guess. That's usually what they are. So uh, we're going to have uh, that, which is way more than is needed, certainly for the Prius motor. Uh, 15 to 1, you know, you'd think in terms of somewhere between 5 and 10. Uh, but the milk float motor will probably need all of that. In fact, the higher the better, because that, that motor is... Uh, not as powerful, it's only an 8 kilowatt motor. Yeah, so hey ho, but the axle's in and it's mounted and obviously sliding aside, it's it's fine and the handbrake works, I don't know about the foot brake, so I haven't tried that yet. But what I need to do now, and I'll probably do that tomorrow, is get the measurements so I can start sizing up a frame to put the motor on and get that axle in properly. Yeah, hey ho. But I got what I wanted. I got my axle turned upwards, and that's what it was all about. And uh, we'll get those springs sorted out and the clamps properly. I mean, I can always, you know, put drill, drill some actual bolts through them. And uh, in fact, the bolts, the original bolts, uh, probably locked it into place. Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? Anyway, yeah, there's not a single thing being interrupted. Brakes and all the brakes are still there, and obviously the drive shafts are still on and everything. So it's as was, it's just tilted upwards with no tank and no exhaust. <laughs> we don't need that bit now. And I'm going to call it a night. Yes, and it no longer looks silly. <laughs> so it's actually flat down properly now, see? So it's all four wheels, even though that back one's at an angle. Yeah. You can see, just before I stop, you can see the amount of weight that's actually off it. And I mean, obviously, I took the, uh, the counterbalance weights out, but also the floor itself's out, which releases the weight. And now look, look at the height. There's a serious height difference there, isn't there? So, uh, in the wheel arch. So, but once we get the uh, milk float motor in, that'll make weight back up again. And so it should weigh it back down on the axle. And uh, even the weight distribution of it. Yep. Okay, bye-bye.